Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be talking about how to get rings easily. So basically, all you really need to do is check the vendor and see this vendor has the rune ring. Which is a pretty, pretty good ring. And some other good stuff too as well that I want. So, let's just say he doesn't have a ring. All you gotta do is leave create a realm and go into that realm level up your uh, general goods guy to at least tier 2 if you can get tier 3 that's also good as well and then just check them see there there's another ring and it's a decent ring too so let's go into another realm Fruit pies, more embers. Oh, a 24, 19, broken promise. That's what I'm talking about. Now, most of these general good store guys are, are at level 2. The one in the beginning of the video was a level 3. So you can kind of see the difference a little bit. You can get decent stuff at tier 1. Um, but I don't think it, it is as likely. Uh, I'll see. Do we have another ring? Nope. No ring. Go to fort. I'll see you. Alright, we got another crow ring. This one's decent. It's not the best. You can get a 3% and a, a lot lower. You can get up to like uh, a decrease of 20%, but still it's not bad. I could probably throw it on an all or something like that. You can also you can also you reset the merchant's um, inventory if you I think if you speed up your time on your computer. I haven't done it, but I've had people tell me about it, but I really don't want to do it. I think it works for Finley too. Good to see you. Right, let's see what he's got. Oh, he's got the experience ring. All right, let's go to realm eight. My farm eight. Which one of you said that? Oh, we got another Finley, and he's got another ring. Um. Stamina. All right, let's see what he's got. Oh, we got another ring. That's eh, kind of poo poo, but we'll take it. I already learned that. I already learned that. All right, let's see what he's got. All we do is he does have a ring. He's got a 22 percent armor. Isn't that just fancy schmancy? Schmancy. So, what did we get from 10? Actually, 11, because uh, my, my first world was my main world. Um, so, pretty much 11 realms. Uh, I got the plague ring, I got the, uh, the tusk ring, the feather ring, the ring of broken promises, which actually had a decent roll on it. Another feather ring. Soulless ring. We got an experience ring. I believe this goes up to 5%. We got another tusk. And we got a crow ring, which goes up to 3%. And I think all the way down to 20% with the decrease. Uh, we got two rune rings. Those go up to 30%. So, pretty awesome. Not bad. Not bad at all. I need to upgrade my, my vendors. Yeah, so this guy definitely needs to get upgraded. We need to upgrade. So, one more additional easy way to get rings is to oh, check for free. check Do your dailies, for... your your bounties, and your challenges, because so these change every day. Uh, I think weekly and dailies, but um, 
a lot of times they offer rings like this one as a reward for the rings. And this is actually a decent ring. I believe it gives you damage and armor. So pretty nice ring. Uh, definitely check this, your challenges. Because they have a lot of decent rewards sometimes. Definitely worth it. Alright, so let me show you all the rings that you can actually acquire. The thistle ring uh, deals extra damage to enemies but also hurts yourself. You get the crow ring, we kind of talked about this already, you just get leech, but you also take a penalty. You got ring of broken promises, you can deal extra damage, but you take extra damage. And then we got the plague ring, gain health, so it's kind of like life leech, but you also lose focus. Then we have the feather ring, uh, decreases your, well, increases your equipment load. And the band of calmness gives you focus and focus uh, gain percentage and then we have the silver ring which uh, returns damage if you parry then we got uh, the willow cap increases your speed we got the tusk ring increases your armor we got the woven ring endless climbing and we got the soul uh, soulless ring which uh, gives you focus after you block and then we got the golden band ring increases your experience gain then we got the Jade Ring, which you get stamina on uh, damage dealt percentage-wise. And Snake Ring, blocking attacks. And so inflict damage on foes with every attack blocked, although it incurs damage to yourself. And then we have the Agility Rings, which decreases your stamina, increases your attack speed, your movement speed, and your decreases your stamina cost while running. Then we have the Rune Ring, which increases your Rune Attack, which is like your special abilities by a percentage. And then we have the Fierce Ring, which increases your armor and your damage dealt. Pretty awesome. And that is it. You guys all have a fantastic day. Peace!